Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, its hypotenuse uh, AC is uh, 5,353 units, whereas uh, one of its uh, legs uh, BC is 4,545 units. And this uh, other leg uh, AB is uh, being represented by X. And now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, X. In other words, uh, we are going to find the value of this uh, leg uh, AB length. And bear in mind, we are not supposed to be using calculators of any kind. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this video, I'm going to share with you with two different approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here's our very first method. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABC. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle to find the value of X. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, A square plus B square equal to C square. In our case, our hypotenuse is uh, 5,353, whereas our two other legs are 4,545 and uh, x. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we are going to write down uh, x square plus uh, 4,545 square equals to 5,353 square. And now I'm going to move this uh, term uh, to the right hand uh, side. And since we are not supposed to be using calculators of any kind, so therefore let's recall this uh, famous identity, a square minus b square could be written as the product of uh, a plus b times uh, a minus b. And we are going to apply this identity on the right hand side of this equation. And if I label this one uh, as uh, lowercase a, and this one as uh, lowercase b, then uh, this uh, right hand side could be written as uh, 53, 53 plus uh, 45, 45 times uh, 53, 53 minus uh, 45, 45. And now we can see if we add these numbers, that's going to give us uh, 98, uh, 98. And if we subtract uh, these numbers, that is going to give us uh, 808 simply. So therefore, we can write down uh, x square uh, equals to 98, uh, 98 uh, times uh, 808. And now let's make an observation. We are going to tweak uh, this very first number. This uh, 9898 could be written as uh, 98 times uh, 101, isn't it? And likewise, uh, this other number 808 could be written as uh, 8 times uh, 101 as well. So therefore, we can write this one as uh, x square equals to 98 uh, times uh, 101 times uh, 8 times uh, 101. And now we can see 101 times 101 is going to give us uh, 101 uh, square. So therefore, we can write uh, this equation as uh, we are going to put down this uh, 98 uh, times 8 uh, together and then uh, times uh, 101 whole square. And now let's focus on this uh, 98. 98 could be written as 49 uh, times uh, 2. And then we got this uh, 8 uh, over here. And 8 times uh, 2 is 16. So this could be written as 49 times uh, 16, isn't it? So therefore we can write uh, x square equals to 49 times 16 times 101 whole square. And now we know 49 is same as 7 square and 16 is same as 4 square. 
So therefore we can write down x square equal to 7 square times 4 square times 101 square. And now we can tweak this right hand side. This could be written as 7 times 4 times 101 whole square. And now we know 7 times 4 is 28 and 28 times 101 is going to give us 2828. So therefore this whole thing turns out to be 2828 whole square. So therefore we can write x square equals to 28 28 whole square. And now we can undo this square on both sides by taking the square root. So therefore uh, our uh, x value simply turns out to be 2828 uh, units. So thus our x value turns out to be 2828 uh, units by using the very first method. And now let me share with you the second method as well. And now let's focus on this uh, hypotenuse uh, 5353. We know that this could be written as uh, 53 times uh, 101, isn't it? And likewise, uh, this uh, 45, 45 could be written as uh, 45 times uh, 101. And now to make our job simple, I'm going to divide all these uh, three sides of this uh, triangle by 101. I'm going to divide this one by 101. I'm going to divide this one by 101. And likewise, I'm going to divide this uh, x uh, by 101 as well. And now we can see this 101 and 101, they are gone. So we are simply left with the 53. So this uh, hypotenuse is going to be simply 53. And likewise, 101 and 101, they are gone. So we are left with simply 45. So this leg has got to be simply 45. And our this leg is going to be x divided by 101. And I'm going to label uh, this leg A, B as uh, Y such that uh, Y is going to be equal to X uh, divided by 101. And once again, we are going to focus on this uh, right triangle uh, A, B, C. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, our hypotenuse is 53, our one of the legs is 45, and the other leg is y. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got y square plus 45 square is going to be equal to 53 square. And now we are going to move this uh, 45 square on the other side. And now let's recall this uh, identity once again. A square minus B square could be written as uh, A plus B times uh, A minus B. We are going to apply this one on the right hand side of this equation. So therefore we can write uh, Y square equals to 53 plus uh, 45 and then times uh, 53 minus uh, 45 and we know that 53 plus 45 is uh, 98 and uh, 53 take away 45 is uh, 8 and we can tweak uh, this uh, 98 uh, could be written as 49 times uh, 2 and 2 times 8 is going to give us uh, 16 and now 49 is the uh, same as uh, 7 square and 16 is same as 4 square and uh, we can write this one as uh, 7 times 4 square that is same as 28 uh, square and now we are going to undo this uh, square by taking a square root on both uh, sides so therefore our y value turns out to be 28 and now let's focus on this equation y is equal to x divided by 101 and our y value is 28 so we are going to substitute 28 uh, over here so therefore i can write down uh, 28 uh, equals to 
x divided by 101 and now I'm going to multiply both sides by 101 to remove this fraction and here we can see this 101 and 101 are gone so therefore our x value is going to be equal to 101 times 28 is going to give us 2828 units so thus our x value turns out to be 2828 units by using the second method as well so thus our x value turns out to be 2828 units by using the both methods thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye